Okay guys, so we're getting ready to head off to Florida um, and we've been doing maintenance on the RV all day. So today I took the RV out, um, we got the tire pressures checked, dumped the tanks, and I tried to find a place to get the oil changed. Walmart said no to two different locations, even though I got the oil changed on the RV at Walmart in Ohio. Um, so I'm not, I guess I'm about a thousand miles away from needing an oil change. So. Um, I suppose I can get one on, uh, along the way or one in Florida, so we'll see. But interesting enough, um, today when we were out, the second vent cover blew off the RV. Now, interesting that this RV is brand new and it's actually a year old this month. Surprisingly enough, I've had the RV for a full year and I haven't traded it in. <laughs> well, not yet anyway. So we're driving down the road and I hear something swish in the RV, I have no idea what it is. And um, I said to my mom, because she was riding the passenger, she said, did you hear that? And she said, no, it was nothing. She said, it was just the guy in the truck driving by. Well, I knew it wasn't the guy in the truck driving by. Su suffice to say. But I didn't know what it was. So we get done running around. We're all over Lafayette and it's crazy traffic. Um, you know, ju let's just put it this way. I don't like a lot of heavy city traffic um, and you know so I was saying my few favorite four-letter metaphors yes I know with mama wags but anyway I was so enough said about that um, we get back into my parking space and I'm getting in the RV and I noticed that the uh, reflectix that I have up on that vent which is over mama wags bed by the way is fluctuating back and forth with the wind well I knew something had happened. So here, take a look. Okay guys, here it is. It just exploded. Boom, disintegrated on the roof. I'll show you a little bit more here in just a second. Okay, so, so far I've got the screen out and I'll show you right up in here. Yeah, it just exploded. Anyway, I'm gonna replace it. I got the new one here. This is the Unbreakable from Campco. And uh, you can see, guaranteed unbreakable. And it's got the slide pin here, which is the same as the other ones. So. Okay, so, almost finished. We got the uh, new cap on. And there's a little metal piece in the glider section that is a pain in the butt to get in. But we got it in. The screen's up, and I'm getting ready now to put back on the, the overall covering sheath. And uh, we should be done. And so this is the unbreakable uh, vent cover from Campco. So hopefully it will do well because on a Class C overbed or overhang over cab um, you know it's a real pain in the butt you can see how really limited the um, um, support is up there so my nephew Josiah helped me by getting up there and uh, we, we slid the old one off and put the new one on and braced it so um, almost finished Okay guys, just wanted to give you a final update. The roof vent is complete, as you can see. Um, the, it's a nice unbreakable cover, so that should be great. One of the things I discovered when I was putting in the, um, the new um, vent is that there's no power up there. You would have thought that they would have run power, but evidently not. So at this stage of the game, um, I guess if I want to put a vent up there, I'll have to run power, which probably isn't going to be too bad because I have a light right here. I suppose I could probably tie into um, not having electrical background. It's not something I'm going to do. So anyway, um, but hopefully there won't be any more uh, roof vent explosions in the RV. Yeah. Anyway, um, I know it's been a hot minute since I put up a video. I've taken a couple months off just to chill. Uh, Mama Wags and I have been hanging out here in Louisiana for the last two months, two or a half months, and uh, we're ready to get back on the road. So we'll be heading out to Florida on April 6th 
and I think we're going to be in Florida for about three weeks. And then from there, we're going to head up to the Carolinas, uh, visit the kids, and then we're off to the Midwest again um, so that I can attend graduation. And then from graduation, we will be going to Mount Rushmore. I hope you stay tuned for the Mount Rushmore video because it's going to be a pretty special video and uh, it's the completion of, um, of a journey that um, should have been completed a while back but unfortunately got delayed. In any event, um, I thank you so much for sticking around and uh, remember thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. The channel continues to grow because I have amazing people. All right, everyone, have a great day.